Marty, Steve, one tweet I've seen from both of you or one tweet idea I've seen from both of you is that that E and the ESG is emphasized so much more than the S and the G. And if you like are taking it from a morality standpoint, the S and the G, especially the S, matters so much more than the E. But that's not how we've kind of seen it play out. Why do you think that's happened? Like, why has the E kind of taken over the whole conversation? Uh, Marty, I want to throw it back to you for your thoughts on that. I think it's just the lowest hanging fruit, obviously. Uh, we talk about like the war on terror, the war on uh, uh, like climate change, like it's in these big sort of Malthusian fears that people have. That, like, oh, these are existential crises that, that we need to deal with. So I think the E is just the lowest hanging fruit where it's like everybody cares about the environment. Right? So here's how we do. Well, it's the carbon, right? Like the carbon is in the E, like the carbon mm-hmm. accounting. And the carbon is how they're scamming everyone, right? Like they're they're saying that, okay, you, based on your business and your industry niche, we've categorized, like you could say anything, like you're a mechanic shop, you run, you're, you're a mechanic. You generally, you know, it's shop your size generally runs this much power. This is your industry and you get this score. And that's where, that's where it's going. They're gonna have everyone categorized and based on like this part of the industry has this kind of emissions and this this kind of industry has this and and that's how the taxes like the carbon taxes are going to be administered i mean the whole thing is like when you really when you really break it down uh when i say it's a scam it's because i look at it as it's it's a complete and utter scam there's not a single thing that the carbon accounting system is doing that's good for the environment there's not a single thing People are people are attacking, and I mean, before even I was in into Bitcoin, like me and Ryan were are, like we're, come from oil. We've been dealing with this environmental scamming like garbage for well, it's been being dealt with now for decades, but it's been like ramping up. It's becoming uh, quite difficult. Like for example, if you're trying to start an oil company today. I mean, first of all, nobody has any money. Everyone's poor and debt, debt and slave. So you need to go out and, and with your good idea, pitch it and get get funding. You're not going to get funded right today unless you have an ESG story. Uh, it has nothing to do with producing oil efficiently and being good stewards of the environment. You just have to have the story. And you got to pay people. You got to pay. You have to have someone on staff constantly updating your story and like just constantly bullshitting to get you those uh, to get you accepted. And to get the funding and to get whether it's like uh like if you are going after some kind of like grants or anything like that you know at the end of the day the carbon tax all it is is a reallocation of wealth so instead of so when we're talking the e it's the low it's the lowest hanging fruit as marty said but it's already being administered here pretty heavily up in canada like there's already a carbon tax and basically what the government's doing is they're taking money from us like all of us in canada uh, but producers as well, um, they're taking that, saying that, oh, you're bad for the environment, so give us some more money. We give it to the government, who then spends the money instead of us, so they go out and consume instead of us, but they do it so much more uh, less efficient. Like, so, so uh, well, it's full, of, like, just look at what happens with governments. It's just full of corruption. Half that money they take in is just being uh, sucked up by the bureaucrats and the administ- the administration of the of that money and then what does get reallocated is going into the dumbest projects like imaginable like i'm in alberta i'm sitting in alberta right now a lot of this this uh carbon tax money especially in our prior government when it was, when it was the ndp uh so like more of a uh, left-wing government was being pushed into solar projects we have immense wasted and stranded natural gas in this province to power the grids off solar in Alberta when you have wasted natural gas everywhere is ridiculous. It just makes no sense whatsoever. And if you actually like, as hard as it is to actually quantify what the carbon emissions are because they make some ridiculously bad assumptions to try to quantify it. Um, if you actually look, da- look down to it, these projects are emitting more environmental harm and resource consumption and resource waste than we would have otherwise had we not administered this bullshit. And that's that that to me is, you know, it, it's really just more top down fiat maximalist scamming, trying to suck capital out of the public and uh, basically benefit from it themselves because the environment's not benefiting and people aren't benefiting. So at the end of the day, it's just the bureaucrats, their administrators, and they're just lining their pockets with this stuff.